It's Richard Segovia, the mayor of the mission. We're here on 25th in York celebrating Casa Bandido's seven year anniversary for the mural. We dedicate today Roberto Hernandez, Bernie Gonzalez, uh, Didi, Didi Sosa, and also Pearl and Ron Estrada. The live bands come and enjoy the party. We're gonna have a good time. Take care, God bless. I just see you guys and just thank you for everything. I just want to take the time right now to bring up a family that we are honoring on the mural, and that is of Adrian Didi Soto. Familia, come on up. Didi, where's your family? Oh, there they are. Angela. Oh, here you are. We're going to stand here. Uh, they would like to speak to you. And so it would be nice to get your attention. Let's know a little bit about Dee Dee, who she was, and her gift to you. Okay, here we go. Who would like to start? Angelo? Hello, everybody. My, my name is uh, Edward Soto. First off, I'd like to say happy birthday to Richard Segovia, who made all this happen for us. I'd like to thank Richard for honoring my deceased wife, Adrian Didi Soto, the lovely mural on his house. My wife Didi sang with a lot of bands in the mission in the Bay Area. She loved performing for the people, and I know she will be so happy right now. Thank you. My name is Angelo Lugo. I'm Dee's oldest son. And um, as I was going through my mother's music memorabilia collection, I uncovered a treasure trove of fascinating stories and historical gems of Lady Dee. Dee Dee, my mother, a passionate and talented singer. She made her first recording with the Mark of Kings when she was only she was just 19 years old. She set the stage for a remarkable career in music. Growing up, everyone always told me your mother could sing. Her voice was enchanting and full of soul, a gift that resonated deeply with those who heard her voice. Yeah, yeah. She had the opportunity to, to sing with renowned groups such as Big Brother, Penny Lewis, the TKO, T TKO San Francisco, performing beloved classics like Ooh Baby Baby, which never failed to capt captivate the audience. Her talent didn't stop there. My mother also lent her remarkable voice to groups like Molo, Deja Vu, showcasing her, vers her versatile vocals, abilities, and her passion in Latin rock. Her performance in iconic venues such as The Stone on Broadway, a legendary, though it's bittersweet that the venue no longer exists. Each piece of memorabilia I found told a story. Old posters, vinyl records, concert tickets, they all painted a picture of a vibrant musical journey. One of the most heartfelt moments during exploration was realizing how much of an influence and inspiration those are around her. I am profoundly, profoundly grateful to Tio Richard Bandito for honoring my mother in the most fitting way possible. He ensured her legacy continues by adding her to the hero of the Latin Rock House, a tribute that immortalizes her contribution to the genre of celebrate of genre and celebrates her enduring spirit. This gesture not only honors my mother, but also connects her story to future generation, generations of music lovers. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Angelo. Yeah. We, love, we love your mother. Judy, I know you're up there. You're looking down. I'm so proud of your family. Now, at this time, we would also like to bring up... Well, you know, before we uh, continue, I really believe that we should... Ahead, Begin in prayer. We cannot ever leave our Lord out of anything that we do, especially in the days that we are living in today. Okay, so just a, um, a quick word. Just Father God, just thank you for bringing us all together. In the name of music, in the name of love and friendship, 
in the name of harmony and peace. Bless this occasion, bless this event, bless the Casa Bandiro home and all the homes that are here this day. Bless Roberto Hernandez and his awesome crew that they continue the work that is set before them. All of you, thank you for coming, and dear Father God, thank you. Amen. And at this time, I would like to bring in Dr. Bernie Gonzalez, Dr. Rock, my boss, Land Rock Inc. And he would like to say a few words. Of, but you know, you know him. He's from here, the mission. He has his dentist office around the corner. So if you get a toothache, go around the corner. There is his office. I can't say about discounts, but um, <laughs> uh, here he is, just to speak on a little bit about himself. Thank you, my favorite subject. If I get too long-winded, just pull the mic, pull the plug. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Richard for honoring me. He'd been asking me for a long time, and I just felt I had the right image and the right time to do this. So, Richard, thank you, and happy birthday. I love you. You do so much for Latin rock. People don't even know what you do behind the scenes. But every time I get to a certain point, I ask myself, how did I get here? And uh, when I was in college, in dental school, my dad had a shoe repair store on 24th Street and was part of a new organization called the 24th Street Merchants Association. This is back in 1983. And they did a street fair that was very successful, but they were disorganized. And he asked me, he goes, I want you to work with these guys, because you work for Bill Graham and blah, blah, blah. And I, I didn't want to work with these old guys, but I didn't tell my dad no, and I came in, got them organized, and uh, I'd been in and out of the mission. My grandmother lived above where my office is. And, uh, when I started working the 24th Street Fair, they turned it over to me. They said, okay, you know what you're doing here. We're, we're handing it over to you. And little did I know, I found out later, once I got to know some of the people in the neighborhood that were part of organizations in the neighborhood, they were like, who is this white boy coming into our hood and taking over? And uh, it's interesting because now you got two white boys. You got Dan Ashley and you got me. <laughs> so uh, I was able to... Can I ask you a question? No. <laughs> Who was the very first man that you managed? Well, let me get there. So one of the first meetings at the 24th Street Fair, I met Richard. They were talking to all the bands that were gonna play. And I told Richard, let me see if I can get you as the headliner. And this way you go on about five o'clock. He goes, no, no. He goes, put us on at three. Maybe we'll get on at five. So that's how I met Richard. And then uh, soon after, once I saw the band, I started managing, uh, they were just known as Bandilo back then. And that's where I got started. And through the 24th Street Fair, I was able to meet Arcilio and then manage Malo for 25 years and continue working uh, in Latin rock. And certain people like Richard, keeping Latin rock alive, as well as Jimmy Fal Falifox, the next generation, keeping Latin rock alive. Uh, Jimmy, I left you a tip, I need change. So, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, this is special to me uh, to be honored. And uh, Richard, thank you very much. I love you and happy birthday. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has been one of my biggest supporters since the beginning of Bandito. Anything that I've ever needed for the house, to paint it, to fix it, to fix my teeth, he took care of me. So let's give a round of applause for one of the biggest actives here in San Francisco's Mission District, Mr. Bernie, Dr. Rock Gonzalez. I love you, brother. Thank you, Dr. Rock.
He's awesome, you guys. I've learned so much from him. So much from him, and more to learn. Okay, our next inductee on the home of Casa Bandido, we're going to be honoring Pearl Bermudez and Ron Bermudez, and I have his brother, Jorge, and Ron's daughter here, Pearl. Thank you everybody for coming today. Today, our mural is right around the corner of the garage. And today is a testimony to my brother's legacy. Because in the 70s, he had a, a group of mission district musicians workshop. And their role was to help young musicians aspire to become better versions of themselves. So, uh, this is his daughter, Pearl. They also had a, a popular dance group called the Salsa Angels. There's a salsa angel right there. And they entertained everything when it came to the mission, so they were well renowned. So my brother dispensed with a whole lot of love here in the mission district, and we're really honored that he's being honored with the mural. So thank you everybody for showing up. And unless Pearl just wants to say thank you, that's it. <laughs> thank you everybody for honoring my dad. He I mean, the community was everything to him, and everything he did that I grew up with was all about the community, so it's nice to see that he's being honored today. Thank you. Yeah. And most of all, thank you Richard Segovia for hosting this and uh, congratulating the other mural uh, folks today, uh, especially the guy who did the mural right there, Carlos Gonzalez Cookie, everybody a hand for Cookie. Like you heard, Dr. Bernie Gonzalez and uh, Roberto Hernandez and who was the ladies? Josie, right? Josie that passed on the Soto. Yeah. Didi Soto, okay. Well, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge and Pearl. It's a delight to have you here with us. Yes, it is. Thank you. It's just a delight and an honor. Now, before we begin with Puro Bandido, uh, I just want to again thank Cookie. He's an awesome muralist. Right here, you guys. Cookie is awesome. Awesome muralist. Cookie thank Monster. You, Cookie. Cookie Monster. Happy birthday, my brother. Thank you, man. Everybody say happy birthday to Richard Segovia. Come on. Come on. Let me hear you, Mission. Happy birthday, Richard Segovia. Happy birthday to you. Come on, help me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mayor of the Mission. Happy birthday to you. There's one big important thing why we're here. That man across the street, Roberto Hernandez, my brother, he's done so much stuff for the neighborhood. Carnaval, you been to Carnaval? He's the man. The food hub. All the things that this man has done for the community. We just added him to the house. So anybody that's living here in the Mission District, we need to promote, vote for Roberto Hernandez for District 9 Supervisor. And we'll make changes. This man is going to make changes in the neighborhood. There was a car park right here, right? He, had to get, he got rid of it. So he's going to be fixing up the neighborhood, making, making sure that we as people like myself that have been living here for my whole life, things are going to change. We're not going to look back. So let's give a round of applause for Mr. Roberto Hernandez, our new District 9 Supervisor over there. Thank you. Come on, you know him. Go for it. You know, I got to tell you, I've known Richard since he was in diapers. I changed his diapers. I help him grow up. Seriously, you know what? Let's give a big round of applause for Richard. What a lot of you don't know is that this house, Richard has opened it up 
for everybody in this community. I have seen people who are homeless sleep here. I have seen children that have been raised in this barrio and he's helped them, raised them as a dad, as a tío, as a padrino. He has taught children how to play music. You know what? Instead of having guns, he's given them guitars. He's giving them drums instead of guns. He has saved so many lives. And you never, I've never told you that, Richard, but today I want to thank you for doing that because you have saved so many lives in this community by the work that you do. And you're an angel. And that's something that I'm going to ask all of you is to pray for him and pray for his healing during this time. Because the power of prayer brings healing and miracles. And I believe in miracles because he is a walking miracle with all the things that he's done for our community. Because when you save lives, you save people. The most important, you know, I'll tell you is uh, sometimes, I, I, and we you know we went through some changes here in the barrio, right? And some of our people got evicted, and we started our mission, no eviction. Our mission, no eviction. Our mission, no eviction. And you know, I counted on Richard every time we needed some music, every time we did a rally or a march. Richard was there, and he put he put the musicians together. We saved 17,000 people from being evicted. But yet, we lost 10,000 people who eventually became homeless. And I'll tell you, there was one day Richard called me up and said, hey, you know what? And uh, well, Michael Rios, I don't know if he's still here, but Brother Rios, you know, his house got sold and Michael Rios was one of the people who got pushed out of the barrio. And, and Richard called me up and said, hey, you know what? Some people moved in and they're complaining about me making noise you know, because of the music. And so I said, Richard, don't worry, I'll take care of that. I found out who was complaining, and I found out who was who, and you know, I, you know, you call somebody, and somebody, 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 somebody knows somebody, right? And next thing you know, we had a meeting here at the house with the guy, who was the guy, who was representing the guy, right? And we had a sit down, and I said, if this is real simple. You can either be part of the solution, or we can escalate it. We don't want to do that. We got lawyers. We got we we know the system, and they soundproof his house. And now thirty-five thousand dollars, and that solved that problem. Happy birthday, Richard! Our new district nine supervisor, Mr. Roberto Hernandez. Everybody, don't worry. Do me a favor, tell your people you love them, tell your friends you love them, your family, and please, go to the doctors, get your blood checked, find out what's going on. God bless you, it's going to be a last song of the night. Thank you. Buenos dias. Good morning. My name is Roberto Hernandez, and I'm running for supervisor for District 9 here in San Francisco. District 9 is the mission. Bernal Heights and Portola, and I'm running because I want to keep us safe. Number one, and most important, build affordable housing so everybody can afford to live in San Francisco. I also want to be able to work with our community to deal with the fentanyl problem that we have here in San Francisco to heal people who are sick. But most important, I also want to be able to work with everybody in our city so that we could bring back tourism, we could bring back jobs that people need and create a beautiful, lovely city that I grew up here with as a child. Thank you for your support. Please vote for me for this election on November 5th. Or you get your ballot in the mail so you can vote by mail and vote for me, Roberto Hernandez, for the Board of Supervisors for District 9 in San Francisco. Thank you.